Hey guys, what's up? This is Tamara. And I'm coming in for my week 81 post-op vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery journey. Alright, so I'm in Wonderland and I don't think I've had I have had time to process being in Wonderland. This morning I got up, went on the scale and it said 197.6. I must have weighed 10 times in a row just to make sure that it was right. Because yesterday when I weighed in and I was in Wonderland, it was 198.8. Today it's 197.6. So that's like a 1.2 drop from yesterday, you know. And it's like I can't believe it. Because every time I go to the bathroom, I'm checking. Even with my clothes on, I'm checking. And I'm still in Wonderland with my clothes on. So I'm here. I'm here, guys. Like, I'm here. I have made my goal, um, and it feels amazing, 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 amazing. I've said this before, I had no idea where I wanted to go, how it was going to look, where, what number I was going to get to. I just knew I needed to lose weight. I, need, I, knew, I knew that 438 pounds was not where I was supposed to be, so I started losing weight and lost my first hundred in six months my second hundred in the next six months and i fought for wonderland guys because and you guys knew like i was struggling there for the last little bit getting comfortable getting all happy and sweet and thinking everything is good <laughs> but i'm finally here you know after 81 weeks i'm at 197.6 pounds um i'm not sure what i did differently um i went to a kickboxing class I haven't been to a class in months you know I've just been walking I've been walking I did five miles two days this week um no not five miles five kilometers sorry five kilometers um two days um this week yes and um been walking running you know jogging running walking kind of thing and um the days are getting better in Vancouver, so, you know, you want to be outside. You want to be doing stuff, and so that's what I've been doing. I, knew, I know summer is not going to be a problem for me. Um, so, I mean, guys, last week I came in, I was, I was at two, 203.2. So, guys, I have dropped like 5.6 pounds in a week. Um, after 81 weeks, I never thought that I'd be dropping that kind of a number. So, I mean, when people say the honeymoon is over after six months, it's so not true. It's what you do. It's what you are pushing for, fighting for, that you will make it. Um, I'm going to be doing my skin video in the next clip, guys. So be prepared for that. Um, be weird. Be warned. It's not pretty. But, you know, that's my battle wounds, you know. Um, I heard somebody else say that... Um, I wouldn't be the person that I am today if I wasn't the person that I was 81 weeks ago. And even though it was so hard being 438 pounds and I hated it, I hated myself, I hated life, it has made me who I am today, a stronger person. I can appreciate um, where I am in this journey. Sorry, it's hot. Ooh, it's getting warm up in here. Um, I can appreciate, sorry, where I'm at, um, sorry guys, the glare from the sun, okay, I can appreciate where I'm at today, and even, I can appreciate other people who are even struggling to lose five pounds, you know what I mean, because I struggled to lose that little bit of weight from getting to 200 and something pounds to getting to, to Wonderland, you know, so I can appreciate the journey, definitely. Once you get to your goal, you can appreciate it. So for those people, I got Lisa that just, just had surgery a few weeks ago. And she's struggling right now. Lisa, girl, I'm telling you, when you get to your goal, it's going to be worth it. No matter how hard it is right now. No matter how hard the struggle is. You can't eat certain things. Your stomach is upset. You, it's it's going to be worth it. I promise you, it gets better. All you guys, I, I Miss Free Spirited, you're going to be on the journey. You are so ready. Girl, I, I don't even need to say nothing to you because you is ready. You're more ready than I was 81 weeks ago. You know, you, you've got it on lock. And I just, I just hope after surgery you're singing the same ch tune, you know what I mean? And it's going to be rough, you know, but it's going to be worth it. I can sit here today 
and tell you that it's going to be worth it because I'm, I'm where that I thought I would never be. <sighs> Man, mm. I'm happy. I'm happy about life. I'm happy just living, you know, and I can't even say living again because I was never living. As long as I've known myself, I've been overweight, you know, and it's nice to walk into a room and not be the heaviest person in the room. It's nice to walk in the room and people look at you like, you know, got to tell you guys something. Okay. I was at the gas station the other day and I was looking all nice in my heels and thing. I think I was coming from church. No, I wasn't coming from church. I was coming from being out with my friends. Yes. And this guy, mm -hmm, he stopped me and he's like, are you a model? <laughs> Stop it. Yes, he did. He asked me if I was a model. And I was like, um, what? what? <laughs> I laughed so hard. I laughed so much. He thought, he's like, oh God, this girl's crazy. But he don't know. He don't know why he said to me. It made my day. It made my day, you know, but uh, trust me, the way I was laughing, like he, I think he was like, damn, I should have backed off of this girl, like, you know, but it felt good, you know, it felt so, so good, you know, and another incident happened um, a few weeks ago. I don't, I didn't think I shared this, but I was, this guy, this guy was talking to me and um, I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a bit thicker than, you know, the other girl than the usual or the average girl or whatever. He's like, thick, girl, you skinny. I was like, you better shut up, oh, skinny. Like, what? Skinny? Like, who be calling me skinny? Like, <laughs> I never heard them things in my life. Not pertain to me anyways, you know. But, you know, guys, it, it feels good. It feels good. Um, I'm here. I'm, I'm here, finally. After a long 81 weeks, I am here. 240.4 pounds gone off this body. And I'm just saying if there's any doctors or surgeons out there that want to give me a free body lift, and breast augmentation, and arm lift, I am here and I'm ready. So I'm, try I'm saving, guys. I'm trying to save to get the surgery done because that's the next phase of this journey. Um, is to get the body right, get it toned up and keep my fitness up. I know summertime will be no problem. Wintertime is, I will, I, I've seen it because this past winter it's, 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 you don't want to do nothing. You get, you want to get lazy. You want to stay inside and do nothing. You know, summertime, I'm be out there being active, hiking and, and biking. I'm going to go buy me a bike and a bike rack for my car. What's up? Never, never in my life I thought I'd be here <laughs> to ride a bike. I'm going to be going to the amusement park with my kids to be able to go on the rides with them. <sighs> mm. I'm happy. I am so happy and I'm just I'm thankful to you guys for being a part of my journey the amount of comments that I've have received on my Wonderland video I just want to say thank you guys thank you thank you thank you and I know I got a pimple here um, it's my Wonderland pimple <laughs> so I'm a weird proud <laughs> but you know I just want to thank you guys for being there for me and for cheering me on you know Without you guys' encouragement, I would probably not have been here. And I know people say that, but sometimes this community is like therapy. Because some, I'm always, I'm constantly watching videos, constantly commenting, constantly just, you know, hearing people's journey and hearing people struggle and fight and victories and success. And you want to be a part of that. So when you see somebody else come and they reach Wonderland, it's like, oh, I want my Wonderland. You know, I want my size seven. Cal, I want my size seven jeans. You know what I mean? Um, well, maybe not a seven, but you know, you know, I, I want, I want to feel good in my clothes. I want you know, all the non-scale victories that you guys are having, I want it, you know. For the people who are before me that are looking to me, it's like, I'm an inspiration? Really? Then I got to kick my butt in gear, you know. If I'm going to inspire somebody else, like, 
you know, like, so you guys don't take it lightly that when you comment and just say yes, uh, you know, yay or whatever it is that you say, it means something to me. It, I may, I don't get to comment because I don't have a laptop, my laptop's broken and I haven't bought one and hopefully I, in the next week or so I get my a new one, but I'm not able to respond back to your comments. That's the only reason why guys or else I'm on it. You know what I mean? So I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for being there for me and I'm at 10 minutes and I gotta do my skin video so I only have like five minutes to do my skin video so I'm gonna leave it there and I'll see you guys in the next clip okay so this is what it looks like regular right but I mean not too bad for losing 200 and 40 pounds, not too bad, but then I have all of this hangage, right, um, you can see one side actually hangs a little bit more than the other, this side, um, I don't have too much back fat left, it's just, you know, just a little bit, not much on the sides, just a little bit. And I mean, it's not bad. I do, my belly button goes in about almost the length of my finger, my pointer finger here. And I have to, um, I stuff it with um, cotton swabs every day. Like after I shower, I put a fresh one in there just to keep it dry um, because it will get irritated and stuff like that. So um, one of the reasons why I need to have surgery is not just cosmetic. It's also for, to get rid of, you know, irritation and all that stuff. But yeah, this is my skin. After losing 240 pounds, you guys know the arms. You yeah, guys see that all the time. But it is what it is. Again, from the side. From the back. From the other side. My legs. You want to come in just a little bit so I can show the legs. So, my legs are pretty wrinkled at the top up here so I'm hoping that when I get my lift it will smooth it out see the difference can you see there? it shows you know it will look better but I mean it is what it is you know um what am I gonna do so I mean so that's it